Thanks for continuing to soar with me in every area of your life. This is another self-care, self-improvement, self-development tip. Please (laughs) listen to the end. Like, comment, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. Okay, this is a new thing I'm doing for my newbie channel. I'm going to start uh, uploading my comments and replies that I make on channels that I uh, frequent and those that I don't frequent. Today, (laughs) um, the tip, I'll give you the tip straight up, but I hope you listen to the end and you'll hear why I'm giving the tip. Today, uh, I'm sorry, the tip is, by the way, this is unedited. The tip is women in particular know thyself. Know who you are. Know your purpose and mission in life. Know you. (laughs) I'm kind of anxious to get to why I'm giving that tip in this video. So again, I was listening to a video today on a channel I often frequent about narcissism and it's uh, published by a a person who, and I'll show you at the end, the channel and the person who uh, describes himself as a self-aware narcissist. Now I've had nothing but praise for the guy from day one. So this is not me, you know, being argumentative or difficult or nitpicking or whatever. This is me expressing my opinion that I think others should hear (laughs) because I can't believe I've listened to the video, like that part of the video that, that hit me at least three times. And I thought I had misheard it. And I said, Nope, that's what he said. And this is what he said that uh, prompted me to do a video on it somewhere around the eight minutes and 30 seconds into the video. He made a statement that narcissist (laughs) narcissists, aren't attracted, are not attracted to basically women who got it going on, women who are good looking, successful, this, that, and the other. And I listened to this three times. I still don't believe I heard it. And I'm tempted to like pause this, this video right now and go listen to it again to make sure I heard what I, what I know I heard. He said, narcissists are not attracted to, you know, women who basically got it going on. He said, narcissists are attracted to women who do not know themselves and I'm thinking what the so okay maybe I'm still misconstruing his point narcissists are attracted to whomever they can get their supply from is my understanding but I'm not gonna you know go into that the statement that they're attracted to women who don't know their purpose hit me hard because I was exposed to a narcissist for about three weeks before I realized I didn't know at the time he was a narcissist. I knew I knew nothing about narcissism, but I knew what I was being exposed to (laughs) was not going to work for me because I'm not the one. Um, So for him to make that statement that narcissists are attracted to women who do not know themselves and then preface that statement by saying narcissists are not attracted to women who basically got it going on and who do know themselves. Again, I keep feeling like I'm misconstruing what he said, but again, I'll show you at the end of this video where you can go and listen for yourself. And um, I'm going to go and listen again too. And if if what I heard is, is not um, what I thought I heard, then I won't even upload this video. If you're hearing the video now, then what I heard is what I heard. At any rate, my statement... Um, I wrote a comment, and again, the tip for this video is know thyself for women in particular. But I wrote a comment, and um, wherein I stated, No, sir, I know who I am, my purpose, my mission, my talents, my gifts. I know me, I love me, and I loved me before and after the narcissistic experience. And that's what women have to be about the business of, of being being purpose-minded, mission-minded, goal-minded, knowing yourself. Now, this is not to say, you know, or imply that men aren't abused by those with NPD, but my focus is on the female right now. Um, And because the statement that the guy made was about females. So I went on to write, so your statement around eight minutes, it was actually about eight, eight and a half minutes into the video, into the video probably refers to your wife whom you easily controlled not all women definitely not me now I did not write I did not write this comment in anger again I've had nothing but praise for this guy from day one and I've been very you know generous in 
offering that praise. So I wasn't being disrespectful in making that statement. He has been very transparent, very vulnerable in talking about how he cheated repeatedly on his wife and how he's hurt her and this, that, and the other. So for him to make that statement says to me that he was talking about himself, not all narcissists. And he should have made that clear in his video. Um, and he's talking about himself and his wife, who apparently didn't know herself when he attracted her to him and led her down the path of, I call it enslavement. You call it control. Other women have said prison, whatever. You know, making someone the center of your existence as if they're the God. So at any, any rate, I went on to write. Again, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I went on to write, dude, as in the narcissist, was not attracted to me because I don't know me. He was attracted to me because he knew I pitied him and wanted to save and fix him. Yes, people, I am an empath. I am a hyper empath, but I'm not a stupid individual. So yeah, I wanted to fix him. I wanted to save him. My heart was all oh, just breaking for dude. And it sort of still is. But guess who I love more? Me. <laughs> okay. Guess who I'm in the business of fixing more and saving more? Me. Anywho. So I said, um, I pitied him because of what he told me about his childhood. But he gambled that my empathy would allow him to control me empathy or whatever it is that made him think that I was going to be his slave. But he soon learned otherwise. Trust and believe that. I, I dipped out before the, the third week. I'm not saying it was easy. I'm not bragging. It was hard. Very painful. And I still think about the dude, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be your slave. Anyway, I went on to write, the guy should have learned that empathy is not synonymous with stupidity and more people need to realize that just because a person is an empath doesn't mean they're a dumbass. Okay. So you, I know it doesn't, it, it doesn't apply to me. I went on to write, if I didn't know me, I wouldn't have walked away by the second week after four consecutive days of nonsense behavior. And I was being nice. It was more than nonsense. It was wow. Just wow. Anyway, the type of behavior that no self-respecting, self-loving, self-knowing woman, like Maya Angelou said, I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman? <laughs> you better know that's me. Okay, so no self-knowing woman would continue tolerating, no matter how empathetic and no matter how much I pitied him and wanted to fix and save him. So no, that generalization is unacceptable because I certainly know me, love me, and I've always had a very healthy self-esteem. And that's what women have to be about. The self-knowledge that will render the self-esteem, self-love, self-worth, everything that we need to make sure we do not allow any male to imprison us, enslave us, make themselves the center of our existence. Like I told him, the narcissist, after he refused to answer my question, are you trying to break me? By week two, I was asking him, what, what is this? Are you trying to break me? He deflected and projected and didn't answer the question. So I responded, letting him know, if you are, my self-esteem is still in tack and you better know that thank you god so i wanted to share that um i didn't want to be this long in sharing but i wanted to share that and that's my tip for this video this is the name of the channel and this is the name of the video i'm referring to so you can go and listen for yourself but the tip again is woman know thyself know thy mission thy purpose thy talent thy gifts know thyself Thanks for listening to the end. Peace, peace, peace.